you. Morning everyone. Come back today to read you the Gruffalo's Child. Morning Ethan and Lukey Luke. And morning baby Raphael. And also today, because it was Charlie's birthday yesterday and we didn't put this up in time, Poppy, JJ and Charlie. <laughs> Mummy's put your names up for this, so morning all. So anyway, here we go. The Gruffalo's Child. The Gruffalo's Child. <laughs> the Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in a deep dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell us, Dad. Is he terribly big and is he terribly bad? One snowy night, when the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bored. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave. So she, he, she tiptoed out of the Gruffalo cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. Into the wood went the Gruffalo's child. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, there's a trail in the snow. Whose is his trail and where does it go? A tail poked out of a long pile house. Could this be the trail of the big bad mouse? <laughs> it's a snow. Oh, ho. <laughs> sorry. You're not the mouse. No, not I, said the snake. He's down by the lake eating Gruffalo cake. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Oh, 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 marks in the snow. Whose are these claw marks? Where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out of a treetop house. Could these be the eyes of the big bad mouse? Mouse? No, it's the... <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a hard time opening the, the pages. <laughs> Down flew the creature. His tail was short. It's the owl. And he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. Too, 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 too. No, not I. But he's somewhere near eating Gruffalo pie. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Oh, ho, ha, a track in the snow. Whose is this track and where does it go? Whiskers at last and an underground house. Could this be the home of the big bad mouse? Out slunk the creature. His eyes weren't fiery. His tail wasn't scary, scaly, and his whiskers weren't wiry. You're not the mouse. Oh no, not me. He's under the tree drinking Gruffalo tea. It's all a trick, said the Gruffalo's child as she sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in that big bad mouse. But here comes a little one out of his house. He's not big, he's not bad, but he is a mouse at least. Your taste nice as a midnight feast. Wait, said the mouse, Be before you eat, uh, there's a friend of mine that you uh, ought to meet. If you'll let me hop onto a hazel twig, I'll beckon my friend, so bad and so big. The Gruffalo's child unclenched her fist. The big bad mouse, 
so he does exist. The mouse hopped on into the hazel tree. She beckoned and said, just wait and see. I can't believe how hard it is to open these things. Out came the moon. It was bright and round. A terrible shadow fell on the ground. Who is this creature so big, bad and strong? His tail and whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous. And over his shoulder, he carries a nut as big as a boulder. The big bad mouse, yelled the Gruffalo's child. The mouse jumped down from the twig and smiled. Aha, aho, prints in the snow. Whose are those feet? Whose are those footprints? And where do they go? The footprints led to the Gruffalo's cave. Where the Gruffalo's child was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored. And the Gruffalo snored and snored and snored. Hope you enjoyed this story today. We'll be back with more. Evie and Nervaya, get Mummy to pick out a story for you and I'll read it for you next time. Bye bye. Love you all. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> week. Love you all. Bye bye Ethan, Lukey and baby Raphael. Love you.